Hi guys, it's Danny. Alrighty, it's time to make an ICU update. It's week 6 now, so let's see how my orchids are doing. Some good news, some bad news, as always, but that's the way it goes. And today we're gonna have some background music. I'm sorry, I know some of you guys don't really like this, but there are people who don't really care I exist, or don't really care about what I do, or don't really care at all about anything, so we need to cover them up. Anyway, let's start the ICU update. Okay, let's start with the upper row, as usual. This is the uh, Selagini Pandurata. <laughs> Ooh, I forgot her name. So this one is doing quite well, however, I was forced to kind of stake it up to keep it above because she's growing these new growths in both directions and they're starting to push against the container I keep her in. So I keep her above moss and what I do is I spray the tiny little root system she created. I'll give you a close-up. Too close. Let's see if we focus. There we go. So as you can see, we have some new roots here and the tips are reddish orangish. It's the cutest thing ever. And this growth on this side has started to produce roots as well. This is a bit too shaky, right? Let's see. Alrighty, so this is the orchid. I see something developing here as well, I think. It's plumping up. I'm not sure what's gonna happen. But these growths do grow. They look quite nice and as you can see we have the roots starting. So as I was saying I'm just spraying the base to get them wet and moistened and keep the growth coming. And here are the Lycasti Aromatica pseudobulb. These are back bulbs developing their growths very nice. No new roots just yet but I think I see something plumping here. Maybe, I don't know. But yeah, they're doing quite well. I'm not worried with these guys. Uh, I'm pretty sure they will not bloom this year. And that's a good thing because I don't want the flowers and the spikes to drain too much energy from these back bulbs. All I want is new growth and new roots. And here is a new development. Um, this is the Kelly Amethysto Glossa Pink Powder Puff crossed with Suzy Q. I really like this one. So let me give you a steady close up. I have a new growth forming right here. It's starting to peek through the sheath and it's not the only one. I think it's really hard to show, but I think here I have a new eye that's plumping up, but I can already see, hmm, not sure if I can give you a close up. All right, I think this is better. So here, do you see the growth is peeking through the sheaths right here? So yeah, good news. I'm really happy about this one. And let me show you the full orchid. She's a seedling division, pretty tiny orchid, so that's why I'm pretty happy with this one. And this is the RLC Momilani Jewel Tiffany. So this one, oopsie, sorry about that, has a new root growing right here, as you can see, but also we have a new pseudobulb forming right here. She's doing quite fine. I cannot wait to get more roots to get this orchid a little bit more plump because as you can see, pretty shriveled, but we're gonna fix that. I'm happy with this one. Okay, now this is an orchid with a Spanish name and apparently I was pronouncing it totally wrong, so I'll give it another go today. This is the Epicatlia um, El Atillo Pinta. How is that, Diego? Was that better? So yeah, um, this is a beautiful, beautiful Epicatlia, a cross between Epidendrum and Catlia. As you can see, the new growth is forming quite well. We have this long root forming here and hope for some more roots actually. But yeah, as expected, this growth will be much tinier than the previous growths, but I think we're on the right track with this one as well. And this is the BLC Chinese Beauty Fire Phoenix, another gorgeous orchid. We have this new growth forming here and growing. I don't see any roots just yet, but hope for them soon. Um, this orchid looks pretty well. She's not very, very dehydrated, so I'm keeping my hopes high for this one. Uh, no leaves lost or anything, so we're good with this one. Alrighty, this is the Calia Intermedia Queenie Cross with Intermedia Cerulea. Cerulea? Yeah. Alrighty, so as you can see, this one has a spent, almost spent pseudobulb. So as Sally, we're gonna lose this pseudobulb, but we have other pseudobulbs and other leaves to make up for it. And this orchid has a new growth as well, so she is consuming quite a lot of energy for this new growth, which sadly grows at a very awkward angle, but hopefully we're gonna fix that. Hoping for some new roots, but yeah, the growth is developing. Um, I don't think we're gonna have major issues with this one. And this is the Catlia Chianti Laude Song Summer Beauty. Uh, okay, so this is the one with the leaf broken, but the leaf is still green, I'm gonna leave it on, who knows, maybe it's still functional actually. Uh, but this one created quite a few 
really long roots and with this one I'm not pulling it out of its container I just pulled it out now hopefully I didn't damage anything but I just make sure the moss is moist and I don't really disturb her way too much we have some uh, new roots forming here and I mean she's doing quite quite nice and this is the Pleione Maculata Pseudobulb or bulb you can see we have roots forming and as it grows you'll see this growth will look so funny it's gonna be all bumpy and curly and stuff I don't know how to explain it but you'll see as it grows so yeah it's developing nicely it's producing roots so I started to moisten the media for this one as well and again I tried to be careful because I'm keeping the pseudobulb at an angle so the roots go inside the media so from now on I'm not gonna pull it out way too much because I really don't want to disturb these roots so these were all the orchids on the upper part, let's say, of the ICU. Uh, for some of them, I will not mess around too much with them. As you can see, this one has quite long roots. I really hope I didn't bother them too much or break the tips. But yeah, from now on, I'm just going to show you inside the container. I will not pull them out because I'm scared. Okay, so let's now take a look at the bigger orchids, the ones that actually sit inside the ICU. Okay, so this is the Ivanagara Apple Blossom. This one actually does not stay in the ICU anymore because she's quite big, so I keep her right in front of the ICU, she gets outside light. But look at this growth! We have roots forming here, and the growth is looking quite spectacular, as you can see. Well, of course it's going to be tinier than the previous growths, but it is to be expected after a shock, <laughs> like this one. But yeah, we have roots, we're doing quite nice. Okay, so you might remember this Kalia orchid, which I keep in this sort of bottle for extra humidity well the thing kind of worked and i'll show you what's happening now okay so this is the kelia percivaliana summit cross with uh oh goodness what's your name central remolato okay so i wanted to give some more humidity for this one because she was pretty limpy and that's a bit fixed do you see she's not as limpy anymore not at all and I was telling you last time that she's starting to produce two new growths. Well, things have kind of changed. So I'll give you a close-up. One of the new growths she was producing is still forming. And you can see it here. But also, we have roots forming now instead of this growth. You can see it's plumped up and ready to go. Well, it's paused. And we are actually producing new roots right now. Thank goodness. But the change is really dramatic. However, the little mold bomb, as I call it, has some side effects. You see this eye here? It didn't used to be like this. It's slightly rotten right now because this thing really stays moist. Everything stays kind of moist. But it's a risk, I needed to assume. As long as this side is okay and I make sure to ventilate this orchid every day and just make sure that if I have molds to get them out of the way, things should be okay for this one. And you can see, like, if you go back, and I'll share with you in the description the previous updates. If you go back, you can see this one being so, so, so limpy all over the place. But look at this. She absolutely stiffened up. Really, really great. Alrighty, let's move on. Another one that I keep in this sort of mold bomb um, is the Oncidium Twinkle. Now, okay, let's clear something. Extra humidity is absolutely fantastic for orchids, but you need to calculate it and you need to be extra careful with it and keep up with observing your orchid. If you just neglect it and somehow you have a mold outbreak, it's done. That's it. You can say bye-bye to the orchid. So with this type of thing, as good as it is, make sure your temperature is high enough because in lower temperatures, I don't know, molds just seem to be more proliferous. Is that a word? Well, I hope you get what I mean. So make sure that things are intermediate at least, not very cold. Also, you do ventilate regularly your orchid and at the first sign of mold, hydrogen peroxide. But other than that, if you manage to raise the humidity with orchids, things are <laughs> really gonna go great. So let's take a closer look at the Oncidium Twinkle. So the Twinkle really does not look that great, but we did not lose leaves, thankfully. Um, the older pseudobulb is looking dramatic, however, we have reason to hope. Let me see if I can give you a close-up. So this is the new growth that's forming and it started already to produce roots, which is fantastic. Usually new growth like this, in this stage, does not produce roots, it's too early, but this one is starting to produce roots and the extra humidity keeps the roots going and forming, so we're good. This is not over the fence just yet, it looks horrible, but these roots are a reason to hope. And I hope things will go well, and I'm pretty happy with how things are going, but do you see this sheath? 
from the growth do you see it's blackened yeah it's because of the extra humidity it's not necessarily a reason to worry but if you're not careful everything can really go moldy and rotten so that's why i'm saying you kind of need to be extra careful with the mold bombs um, if you can provide extra humidity and ventilation at the same time that's even better but yeah for the time being we're going much better than we used to so I'm really hoping this one will make it. Alrighty, this is the Dendrobium Berry Oda. We have quite a few roots. I'm trying not to disturb this one too much, but I did disturb it now for the sake of this video. But from now on, I'm just not gonna disturb them way too much. We have a lot of new growths. We have one here, one in the back, tiny ones sprouting everywhere. Look at this. So yeah, he's doing quite nice. I have no worries for this little guy. He's gonna do well. Kelia Maxima once again, doing fantastic, look at these growths, look at the pseudobulbs, minimal shriveling, she's such, such a hardy orchid really, no need to hang around with this one too much, she's doing great. Alrighty, some updates with the Kelia King Herod crossed with Kelia Intermedia. Um, this is not in a pretty spectacular state, also the two available eyes of the new growth are damaged, so no new growth from there, however, on the oldest pseudobulb, we do have something happening. This is an eye, you can see it's plumping up, peeking through the sheath, so yay! Some hope for this one as well, really happy with this one. So fingers crossed for a good evolution from now on. Okay, so this is the pretty BC Maikai. We don't have any new growth just yet. It's fine because Look at this, we have a new root growing right here. So what I do is I spray the root system every single day, I do, and make sure the the media is moist. But for now, no new growth, sadly. But this root is going pretty fantastic, so I'm happy. As I was talking nonsense here, I discovered another root tip. Where are you? Um, it's here. There you go. And I'm not in frame. It's here. It's a second root tip. And I also discovered I think I damaged a little bit this root hip, no! Okay, so from now on, I'm just not gonna pull them out of their um, containers. I'm just gonna show you the containers. I really want these roots to grow a little bit more before I damage them. Yep, I think I damaged it a little bit, but it's not the tip, so I think we're good. And this is the Patinara Chief Sweet Orange, and her new growth is doing quite well. I think I see a tiny little root forming. Yeah, it's right there at the bottom, so she's doing quite nice. I have no worries for this one. Alrighty, time for some bad news. This is the BLC and Cleo. Wow, I was not expecting this. We lost a leaf, we're gonna lose this older pseudobulb. And this orchid had so many eyes available. It also had a root that I was watering. One day, just, that's it, it died. So we do have an, an available eye here which still looks good. We have an eye here which I thought plumped a little bit and I found it strange because this one looks better. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna lose this back bulb. I'm not sure why. Uh, it's not mushy, so it's just depletion. It's not rot or anything. This bulb right here still looks good. The leaf looks pretty okay, although not the best. And I was out of frame. So yeah, this is a shocker, I was not expecting this. This has no reason to do this, but yeah, orchids are unpredictable. Some individuals are weaker than others, some are more prone to start faster growth and so on, you know how it goes. But really I'm a bit sad and disappointed in the Ancleo. I rooted for this one, it looks spectacular in comparison to everything else. If you take other orchids which look so bad but start to do so good right now, this is a shocker. But that's how it is, which is gonna live with it. I hope she's gonna be fine though. Another one that is a bit worrying is the BLC or RLC. Mmm, Calia Corner Storm Compass. Let's call it like that. I was telling you in the latest update that this is a question mark still for me because she's not doing anything. Um, not depleting very fast, but still. So we had a new growth here, which sadly just dried, dried away. And I think I saw at some point something peeking through, but this this will not develop. However, we do have one more available eye here. Hopefully you can see. So we do have another chance with this one, but it really depends on her. I don't know. Again, this is a question mark and we're just gonna have to wait and see what happens. Okay, so this is the update. Things are picking up. We do still have some question marks. We do still have some, um, yeah, bad surprises, but that's how it goes with orchids, really. 
sometimes the unexpected happens but yeah i'm hopeful for them with some i am really pleased with their evolution with their growth i do suspect some species or hybrids are more vigorous than others and so on and of course all of these orchids are set back and they will be set back i'm not expecting any blooms this year next year mm, depends on the orchid not sure two years from now we're gonna have some better results so i know that but that's fine it teaches me a lot of things and it's a nice experiment and nice way to learn about orchids so hopefully you've enjoyed this if you'd like to see uh, the other updates that i did with the icu and when i receive them just check the description i'll share with you all the links there and you can see the evolution and the history and i'm not sure maybe in about two weeks i'm gonna make another update i don't know when i'm gonna leave i don't know if i will have time but anyway we're gonna make an update on these guys pretty soon uh, there will be trouble with transport but i'll make sure that the um, new roots and everything are protected with cotton and everything and when we will reach the new location we will not have the icu anymore they will be ready for transferring into media most probably so anyway thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed it if you'd like to see more videos from me simply subscribe to my channel i post on a regular basis also feel free to leave me questions suggestions for videos or whatever you like to share with me in the comment section below if you click on the left side of your screen you'll be directed to orkinature.com where you'll find care sheets identification sheets and also you can talk to us in the forum section and on the right side of your screen you can click to watch another orchid video thank you for joining i'll see you next time bye